welcome to the new episode of once a parent today's episode is about let's talk sports parenting a very interesting episode and a very interesting guest on our episode today i would like to welcome siddharth deshmukh popularly known as sid in the sports circle and um, before we start siddharth i would like to introduce you to our audience and uh, uh, just let them know what your rich profile in sports and your passion for sports and uh, what you actually do so siddharth heads the revenue uh, in gpl which is the world's first cricket e sports league in association with jet synthesis uh, he has a 20 plus year experience in technology sports media worked with numerous international forums and csr platforms in fact he has done a lot of csr uh, through his family uh, foundation also uh he also has a sports talk show he's a host of it host of the show called let's talk sports with sid deshmukh he was instrumental in designing the uh, sports management course in symbiosis school of sports sciences yeah. and uh, his mission is to use his expertise and network to build sports as a brand um both sports and esports <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah we can talk esports now yeah so apart from that why he is here on um, uh, once a parent is uh, something which i would really like to bring to the fore to all of you parents uh, siddharth is somebody i know who walks the talks he is an athlete himself um even today he plays uh, badminton swimming some kind of sport every day on a regular basis his son plays football and right now for 11 12 he is playing with the reliance foundation young champs and also giving his nios and appearing for exams His daughter is a gymnast and a drummer. His wife is a therapist and also counsels uh, um, in uh, people playing sports. And most important is he runs a club, which is a football club called Rising Pune FC, yes. a very popular club in Pune where uh, six to eighteen years uh, of uh, children come and play. And uh, because of that, he is actively working with almost three hundred um, parents who are parents of sports enthusiasts, I would say. Yeah. And with all of this, um, this background that I have just told you, I think we so that is a very special guest today on our platform. And I would like to start by asking you uh, a very uh, uh, a question which I felt was important to ask in the beginning. Uh, both your parents were doctors established ones and uh, you are into sports and this passion of sports that you have which uh, everybody you will feel that passion percolate through our podcast <laughs> also so where does this come from uh so sheetal i think firstly uh, it's great to be here uh, once a parent uh, always a parent yes uh, so uh, it's a, it's a good name and uh, i think you, i've seen the uh, the uh, previous episodes you've been doing a good job i think it's something required for people to talk to yeah. uh people are the parents are always confused as we know that uh, we all gone through the phase where the first kid was a trial and uh, I'll not say second was an error, but yeah, it, it just grew. <laughs> <laughs> the trial and error actually worked, uh, yeah. and uh, we also learned uh, yeah. in the in in the whole whole journey, right? Yeah. So uh, from that perspective, you're doing a great job. Thank uh, you. For me, coming from doctor's family, my both my parents were doctors, and uh, though my mom did not practice much, she was more into uh, philanthropy, uh, social work, as well as politics and okay. those kind of field that she was more focused into. My dad was a surgeon. Right. Uh, And uh, running the hospital, he was running the hospital for my hosp- our hospital was called Siddharth Hospital. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one year younger to me, mm-hmm. and uh, so it is almost forty-four year old hospital. Okay. Uh, that uh, we had. Uh, so always the environment in the house was uh, about medicine, uh, and in their early days there was no. platform that they didn't come from a uh, affluent background or the it very humble background they mm. both came from mm. so they were building lot of things mm. so only thing in front of my eyes was being a doctor yeah and uh, there was nothing else and we were in a very small town called virar which okay. is outskirts of mumbai as well oh. uh, so he was the first ever doctor between dhanu to borivli so did wow. that kind of first ever uh, private doctor with hospital in between that area so it's a it's a different kind of environment that grew up with uh, uh, but while growing up what really mattered was the environment yeah. my dad was a, a very good swimmer oh uh, and it all started with him staying in dhanu and crossing the khadi to go to school wow 
so that is how the swimming started okay and uh, so i was a, i was 2 years old when i was in the water for the first time okay so and that too without any ropes it like okay. i think that was the first fight i i i don't remember but i think that the first fight my dad mom must have had because direct pan takun dilo but kya baat hai but uh, i was 2 2 and a half years when i was in the water and okay. i was honestly swimming since then okay my mom was a uh, was into athletics as well as hockey Wow. Uh, and table tennis. Okay. Uh, she grew up in Shivaji Park, so she was more urban than my right, dad. Right, right. Uh, so, tamoy uh, the environment and the house was always about sports. Correct. So, luckily, while everything was settling up, we had a big, bigger house uh, when, uh, and then we had a table tennis table in the in because both used to love love playing table mm-hmm, tennis. Dad, mom, mm-hmm. whenever used to get time, they used to play table tennis. So okay. we had table tennis table in the house. So I started playing that. Yeah. Then. I used to like cricket a lot because Mumbai का रहा है so Correct. cricket comes in the it's like we are born DNA with cricket yeah we are born with cricket yeah so we had a my dad built a net on the on the terrace okay so though they had a humble background my my upbringing was good okay. so I uh, touch wood it's a it's a blessed upbringing yeah uh, that I had me and my sister younger sister so uh, she's almost seven years younger to me so I had a more privilege I spent more time with your parents uh, with my parents enjoying all yeah. these things so. So sports was always in the house, right? And they encouraged me to do lot of things. And uh, while doing that, I was with the uh, Paddy Shivalkar sir in Shivaji Park uh, for uh, for uh, cricket, cricket training. Yeah, cricket training. I was uh, training there. Then, but I understood one more thing that I'm not very fond of team sport. Okay. Uh, so I started focusing on badminton. I had a good success. This recently, recently good success in badminton. Uh, not the way I wanted to be. But again, uh, as per the environment and what was available as a thing, I played till Maharashtra level. It was good, uh, but right. I had a bad shoulder injury. Okay. And then the sports career could not go beyond as a professional. It right. always stayed as a recreation. Yeah. So uh, in that journey, in growing up in nineties, uh, doctor, engineer, or failure were Correct. the three terms. Maja ghara mein luckily we didn't have the failure as a word. Yeah. Doctor. is one word we had engineer i also tried but 90s was bollywood right so right. i was in mumbai i was in mithi bai college so huh. it was all kind of bollywood masala <laughs> tried my hands there as well okay uh, but all in all i think ghar jana kahla ki i don't this will be really tough yeah. to manage yeah. so they packed me to pune Achha. to do my computer science okay the reason you asked me that how come not doctor the only thing my parents told me in my growing up days uh when i was actually 16 17 18 kind of thing hmm. the only thing they told me not to do is hmm. don't become a doctor Okay. I really, really felt bad because that was the only thing I had dreamt of. Yeah. But now I know I would have probably would have wouldn't have been a good doctor. <laughs> uh, so, but uh, but anyways, that was the only thing they said. It's okay. like it's like we have a hospital doesn't mean you have to be a doctor. Super. This is something that we wanted for ourselves. Yes. So we made it happen. Right. You find your own ways. Right. Become a doctor only if you really, really feel for the people. Correct. Don't feel for the Siddharth Hospital and the sit there chair there. Wow! So this was the statement my dad made. That's that's I mean hats off to your parents. So evolved. Now, that means when you have a hospital and when you have everything set up, it's just uh, uh, you know uh, a natural progression that the yeah, son gets into medicine. Yeah, that was the time. That was the time when the uh, uh, Ukraine was booming for medicine. Really? Right? Yeah. Mid nineties, right? True. If you go there five years, you come back with MD. Correct. Correct. So uh, few of my friends have done that. They have they are doing a good job. Yeah. Uh, they are doing the well settled now in right. India. But the right. thing is, my dad said, "Plak kharas karay to sil." Tar kar. Ani seva karay je sil tar kar. He said, "Ki understand this is noble profession. Noble profession. You are here for a particular reason. Right. You are usually doctors are treated next to the god. God. Do yeah. you can you take that uh, weight on your shoulder? Oh, I have goosebumps. So <laughs> I mean. uh, I, that time I had anger. Uh, but yeah. now, if I look back, it's I really understand what he, he meant. meant, and uh, I have just been, I, since then I have been just exploring things. Yeah, I came to Pune. Uh, that suddenly one, uh, what to say, that one relative comes on when you don't want no. suddenly and never see you see, see them again. No. That's that kind of relative came up and said there is a course called BCS in Pune. Acha <laughs> computer science. <laughs> So because of that, I came to Pune. I was in modern college. Yeah. The only thing I never liked about the course was computers, and I was doing BCS. Wow! I was doing Bachelor of Computer Science. Wow! I failed in computers. Long story short, I completed that course, but I understood one thing that I cannot be in coding. Right. I cannot lose my sleep over a missing semicolon. Super. <laughs> <laughs> 
आई हैव बेटर थिंग्स टू डू इन माई लाइफ और वो दे ना थ्री इडियट पर डायलॉग इंजीनियर बनूंगा तो बहुत बुरा बनूंगा करेक्ट आई आई न्यू दैट करेक्ट सो I I tried my hands. That's why I took uh, for MBA. Okay. Uh, that's where I met my now wife. I met we we together in uh, symbiosis. Uh, we did back to back two MBAs as well hmm. because 2002 uh, the dot com had bursted. Twin hmm. Tower had fallen. The jobs were that's our seniors were kept on uh, bench for not Correct. getting jobs. So we did back to back two MBAs. Okay. So I did SIBM uh, as well. Okay. Then started my journey in banking. Uh, wow. From there to persistent in. Uh, uh, Worked with Anand uh, Deshpande directly, very closely. When Persi nice. was a very small family, I used yeah. to work in Bhagirath yeah. office. It okay. was a very small family. Then, Back then, when it was in the initial yeah. days, yeah. I was for, one of the first thousand employees of Persi. Really? Persistent. Wow. So it was a very good experience. From uh. there, I went to join Tech Mahindra, uh. then Global Logic. Then I was in US for a few years with Mindtree. Okay. So that was my journey in right. the. Now I follow the past life. Past but, life. Okay. Uh, that those were the first ten, eleven years of my life. Okay. And then. One day, I don't know it was midlife crisis or what. I just asked myself, "What the hell am I doing?" Okay. And then the part two comes in. Achha. But by then, I was already parent of two. Okay, uh, that's like. Yeah. So I was married early. Me and wife, uh, we 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 wanted to have kids early because we said we don't want to have breaks in our careers. Correct. Uh, later. Later on. So and mainly for the for the women, right? So you right. end up having breaks. So right. uh, I mean, this article like, if you want to have kids, we want to have Let's two kids. Have, yeah. That oh, too also it was. So if, clarity. Yeah. If either zero or two. Superb. Or that was my conviction also zero or two because I can't imagine my life without a sibling. So. <laughs> yeah. So so my, I had my younger sister Ketki had yeah, younger uh, yeah. as a younger brother. So yeah. considering uh, elder brother, sorry. Yeah. Considering that we yeah. always uh, wanted that and uh, so. By 27, 28, we were parent of two. Wow! And uh, that the the thing so that we spoke we about, it was a startup. It was a startup. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm an I've been an entrepreneur for a long time now. <laughs> <laughs> With your child, children. <laughs> Actually, parents are handling a startup, right? Yes. They... I like that uh, analogy that you made the other day that uh, children are your. Yeah, you could say it better, I think. So. On, honestly speaking, it's, that's what me and Ketki always talk about. It like this was our startup. We are the CEOs. We are the COs. Hmm. We are the CFOs, HR, everything. Everything. We are building the culture. We are getting the revenue. We are talking about operations, everything, and we are building a product. Oh. So that's a startup, and I think people say we are not entrepreneurs. If you are parent, you are entrepreneur. Acha, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So, yeah. uh, so that is uh, that's yeah. how the whole thing is. But again, as 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 you we study in so many things, right? There are a lot of things uh, as a child. Our, our belief system has developed in the first six seven years of our life. Yes. Where we don't have any control. Yes. Our, Absolutely. Our environment, parents, relatives, they are building our ecosystem. Correct. Correct. And on those belief system, we are spending the whole life. So nature and nurture, these two things, and early on they matter so much in actually shaping your personality. Yeah. Those things remain. The value system is really yeah, so, formed. And that's how the startups are built. It yes. is you don't know two partners come together, try to do one is doing coding, one is doing sales, <laughs> one is doing the admin operations, and you're trying this. to build a product. Correct. And uh, yeah, that's. And that. you see what happens. Let's see what happens. It's like <laughs> it's, it's everything was planned and scripted, and life wouldn't have been life. Correct, sir. Correct, sir. Those uh, uncertainties make life beautiful. Yeah, because uh, again, I I saw one of the videos re- recently. I mm. the guy was running a marathon. Yeah. And before the finish line, there was a lot of music there, mm. and he was dancing. He was not crossing the line. Okay. And everybody around him was huh. just running to cross the line. Huh. But that's where the important thing is. He was just enjoying that moment. The life is so not about beautiful. the destination. It's yes. about a journey. Yes. Are you enjoying that journey? If you enjoy that journey, I think a lot of things can be. Yeah, but we've forgotten to enjoy the journey. It's more about the outcome, the measurable outcomes, the destination, hurry of reaching there is what is really taking away from us looking at the journey, the process that really goes behind it and enjoying it. Yeah, that's and that's what good, got bad, me ugly. Yeah. yeah, that's what got me the sports, and uh, that's what the again talking about sports parenting. It's yeah. the same same thing. It's about it's never a destination. It's never a destination. P. V. Sindhu, P. V. Sindhu winning a gold medal or yeah. winning a medal, yeah. or uh, Bindra getting, uh, you know, Bindra getting the first ever gold medal for India wasn't a destination. Yeah. It was a journey that he had. Yeah. What uh, uh, Usain Bolt talks about, I run for almost 900 days. For that. For those nine seconds. Nine seconds. 
Yeah. Messi yeah. said that I became an overnight sensation yeah. after 17 years. Yes. Yes. So, so coming to that, uh, Siddharth, I would really like to uh, focus on this. Like you've been in sports enthusiast. Your uh, mission is to really make sports uh, more as a brand accepted and an important yeah. part of our day-to-day -day life, basically. So when you look at sports, now what happens is there are two things for parents. One is sports like you rightly said that it is, um, uh, you said that it is more like a performing art. Yeah. I would like you to talk about that also. And uh, so looking at it from uh, a sport which you play, not everybody can become a Tendulkar or a Dhoni. But uh, how important it is in the overall growth and development of a child what do parents really need to look at? Why is it important for encouraging students and children to play? And uh, then the next thing is that because you know what happens is uh, children play sports, but Dahavi Ali Kimma, normally parents <laughs> just shut everything and then they want to concentrate on the marks so that you know the career is important because I, I feel parents see everybody comes from the place of uh, they want something better for their child than they have. And um, so, sports mother careers are hitka, nahi hitka. So, there is a lot of anxiety parents mother. So, first, we would probably talk about why sports is important in uh, the upbringing of a child and what really it brings to the table. I think, uh, Sheetal, you touched upon a very important, important topic uh, the sports as a culture. Yes. Okay, upon. Okay. As as you grow up in Maharashtrian families, Sandhya Kai Satwa Sa Diwa Laun Shubhangaruti Ka Mandu. It's just a part of upbringing and culture. Yeah, it's the same thing, what stops us from going and playing something somewhere. Yeah. It's, it's giving you so many important aspects in, in, in our own day-to-day -day life, right? Uh, sports is something that gives you physical movement. That is sports. The definition yeah. of sport is having a physical movement. Correct. Correct. And when I say physical movement, it could be for differently able people, it could be for uh, anybody who is a special kid, anybody. anybody. There is some physical movement that is happening. Right. Even right. you're talking about chess, your yeah. brain is working and your hands are moving. Yeah. Something is something you're doing. So yeah. it's a it's a and what makes it competitive is basically is played with the rules. Hmm. Correct. When we say anything that has to be part of our day-to-day -day life, hmm. that means it has to be <clears> a culture. It has to be a culture. Correct. When Sauskar. Exactly. It is sports sounds correct. If we want to make India a sporting nation, we are yeah. 1.3 billion, I think that's the yeah. current count current probably. Count. Or 1.4 billion, whatever. Huh. That's the only thing we are ruling right now, unfortunately. Right. Right. But uh, <laughs> in, <laughs> in 1.4 billion people, we are every four years, we are just struggling to find one gold medalist yeah. in Olympics. Olympic is the ultimate glory Correct. for us, for anybody to play sport. But, but people under, forget one more thing. Winning a medal in Olympics is not what Olympics is meant for. Hmm. Olympics, the creed of Olympic is actually competing. Participating. First is qualifying. Okay. Competing and completing. Right. This is what is the Olympics all about. Getting a medal is a byproduct. Correct. Correct. First, you have to qualify for it. Right. You have to be the best in the world to qualify for that. Yeah. Then you have to compete. Correct. And then complete. Correct. Such important values. Exactly. And apply day-to-day -day life. This is what we need, right? In school, what are the parents are talking about it? You are first qualified to first to some get some admission somewhere. Yeah. Then you have to compete with the kids. Yeah. And the competitive education. Correct. Why can't we just apply the same thing to sports? Correct. It makes it simple, no? It just makes it, we try to make it complicated. Correct. And what happens is you see higher suicide rates going up, stress. I used to teach in BBA in a um, uh, college in BMCC. And I mean, tell me one synonym for life. So they're saying stress. <laughs> so it was very, I mean, not a good thing to really happen. But how does it help to cope up with your life also when in the growing years, if a child is playing sports, not necessarily, he would probably compete complete. But medal might not be the only thing yes. that uh, you can aim for. It's a byproduct, as you said. But when you say that it is more about... Um, One simple thing, in hmm. day-to-day life, madhe, any families that we come with, it could be very humble background to a rich background. It's very tough for parents to say no to a kid. Yeah. Okay, that means the kids are not learning the rejection. Hmm. Yes. Or they are not learning the losses. Correct. But sports, 90% of the time you're losing. <laughs> True. When you compete. Yeah. But 
that losing has lot of learnings hmm. is yeah. simple thing that teaches us is respect hmm. you start respecting yourself you hmm. start respecting the code that you enter the you start respecting the referee you start respecting the opponent you, your teammates everything it's about respect yeah at the end of the day if you had a good game simple thing gratitude thank you for having a good game i have no injuries yeah so there are so many small things that actually sports teaches us that yeah. we don't even take it for granted we are looking at some teacher coming and teaching us history talking about shivaji maharaj talking about the britishers and uh, probably now in few years we'll talk about other invasions correct but why is nobody talking about like when while we are growing up the pe teacher was the most neglected person yes he was the most suppressed person his his classes were taken away by math math teacher every time every time <laughs> correct आणि इट इट केम टू अ लेवल की पीई टीचर म्हटलं मी पण मॅच शिकवत होतो करेक्ट सो बट द थिंग्स आर चेंजिंग आणि त्याच्यामध्ये काय होतं पीई मध्ये आपण काय करायचो एक दोन तीन चार वॉट वॉज इट इट वॉज अबाउट हॅव्हिंग अ फिजिकल मुवमेंट बायोमेकॅनिक्स टू मेक शुअर दॅट एव्हरीथिंग इज मुव्हिंग करेक्ट वी थॉट इट्स फन ते डोकं खाली लावताना वी टू मेक डोंगर ऑन माती सो लवकर पोचू बिकॉज टीचर सांगायचं माती दाखव करेक्ट सो and all those things, what were those it about the back flexibility correct it just the form of warm up correct apan school me tar warm up karto ka i think as a parent the parents are doing more warm up than the kids absolutely totally okay. agree in the morning yeah. it's about from the tiffins to uniform waking to them up to waking them up to going for the bus and also taking the stress the parents are taking the stress of the ptm yes what is it in store when i go there exactly <laughs> and who I, I, again i'm little rebellious who has given right to anybody to judge me who i am yeah i have had those incidents with my with my kids in the school that no 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 uh, your son doesn't understand this your daughter and i said what do you mean doesn't understand you are teacher you are supposed to teach them hmm. if they grasp it they will show it in the exam if not fine they'll grow correct but they, they are learning somewhere or the other exactly it's if they have the ways to make it happen and this is how again but this is i am because probably my mom yes. my dad was more serious towards the education yeah. and all the simple yeah. doctor but my mom was very entrepreneur yeah. and very enterprising right in fact in eighth she did not like the regular structure so she started her school i went to that school 8 9 10 i went to that school she started different school okay and she got a uh, few kids sports was focused huh. performing arts of focus that's why i say the sports is performing art yeah what is it at the end of the day you are performing art yeah Yes that is your flow that you're lost in that art it's it's almost a performing art when people are singing taan lagli ki they go into trance yeah or dance people get, the way they dance it's like trance it is a trance, trance right? yeah. in sports the moment you get in the zone you're in trance you're in trance yeah. that that's what that's what your zone is so it's a performing art yeah and somebody is paying to see that <laughs> true so it's performing art true. So, so then this is a very interesting take on this now when uh, the second part is about careers in sport which parents are um, very uh, you know not they don't know enough from this angle so they their anxiety is also justified yes. so uh, before coming to that question however i would like to or else we could address that and then i will come to another uh, question about your experiences with parents while working uh, while running the uh, club that you have the football yeah, club yeah and my own startup and your own startup and your own startup <laughs> also your kids. children yeah your kids yeah, uh, yeah. so uh, shita i'll just take a step back about the finding the careers first yeah. is you have to understand that you, people the parents are ready to wait for 20 years for their kid to become engineer yes but they want their kids to be champion on sports in sports overnight yes फुटबॉल मध्ये आला की त्यांनी गोल केला पाहिजे त्याचा रोनाल्डो झाला पाहिजे करेक्ट दिस इज समथिंग दॅट्स अ मेंटॅलिटी आय विल वेट फॉर समबडी टू अंडरस्टँड बिकम अ मेकॅनिकल इंजिनियर ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन राईट बट इफ इज गोइंग फॉर फुटबॉल ही शुड बी द चॅम्पियन ही शुड बी स्कोरिंग द गोल्स इफ इज गोइंग फॉर क्रिकेट ही शुड बी स्कोरिंग सेंचुरीज वाय नॉट आय पी एल सो द एक्सपेक्टेशन इज प्रॉब्लेम आय विल टेक वन मोस्ट डिफरंट अँगल टू इट दे आर टू इश्यूज हिअर वन इज पेरेंट आर कम्प्लिटली स्केअर्ड अबाउट future of the kid and mm. that is the human nature that is one side of it that's mm. where they put them into the traditional they don't want to break away from the traditional they want to flow against the tide correct that is one side of it right. and the second side is also the parents trying to live their dreams to kids yeah sadly so and two ways again it happens in sports as well it is right. not only happening in engineering or uh, other things ha huh. 
ओके द सेम थिंग राईट इफ माय पेरेंट्स वॉन्टेड टू लिव्ह दे ड्रीम थ्रू मी दॅट हॉस्पिटल आहे पुढे कर डॉक्टर बट इ सोपं होतं करेक्ट यू वुड बीन अ सॅड डॉक्टर or i'll not say sad i'll be in uh, a bad a bad uh, <laughs> be probably uh, <laughs> directly saying yeah because yeah. that my uh, yeah. again my, i don't have a thought process or the mindset to be a doctor correct that's yeah. what i feel now after Thanks. look i look back 20 yeah. years now yeah. Yeah. that's what i feel it's yeah. i think it's a, it's a good decision but yeah the parents do try to live their dreams exactly and that is that's a bigger issue yeah correct everybody find you are uh, sadguru sadguru has a saying that you you don't uh, right you don't grow a child you don't but raise a child you don't raise a child you don't raise a child okay yes. you raise a cattle yes <laughs> it has happened yeah. it's a product yeah big of you to come together yes that's a product and you have to understand that okay you have some responsibilities because yes, yes. now the the kid is born yeah you have some responsibility as but parents. as parents that is it yeah beyond that you just want to make some safe sound and a conscious surrounding Correct. That's what we need to make at the end of the day. Correct. So, yeah, so as, as Khalil uh, Gibran also says that your children are born through you. Yes. They don't belong to you. They come with their own um, uh, future and aspirations and they, you just have to be there to, uh, you know, kind of give them an enabling environment, uh, give them a kind of a environment where they can safely fail and learn as quickly as possible. And that's all that we parents need to do and they yeah. will probably uh, embark on their own journeys because we really don't know what... Um, Oh, and their strengths are so unique so uh, we are unique our children are unique exactly they have to have their own unique journey basically exactly so now coming uh, back to the career part of uh, yeah. sports so what is it that children can after playing like you after your injury also you've been in this field you've worked with dhoni also yes. very closely i mean that's like a dream come true for so many people <laughs> <laughs> to even to have a yeah. photo op with him is a big yeah. thing but you've worked with him so closely so what are these things and you've also designed the sibm course for uh, so, पिरामिड is called a participation okay we want more and more people to participate so that's why we say that uh, there are tournaments under 5 under 6 under 7 just go and play mm. we don't know whether that uh, the girl or boy can kick the ball or no just go out and play mm. that is most important thing mm. so you are talking about the participation mm. after the participation is done we come to next level where competitive okay so around 30% of participation will drop out to become competitive okay and that's where we'll have this proper structure tournament under 8 under 10 mm, under 12 mm, under 14 mm, under 16 that kind of mm, thing mm, happens mm. from that around 30 40% will drop out mm. to become amateurs mm. so that then you start talking about the beyond dso we talk about the state level and those kind of competition mm. where you are actually trying to have a life towards becoming a professional right right so that is the pyramid and on top of that probably 5% will convert into um, elites mm. so imagine that in china China winning so many medals in sports right behind every olympian who goes there from china there are 3000 kids who are training yeah that's the ratio that's the ratio wow ek acha party 3000 wow and that is not at the bottom of the pyramid hmm. that is at the top, top of, of the, the like just before the elite yeah yeah so imagine the, how much bigger pyramid that we need to have oh, oh, there that is that ratio yes that is the ratio that is not at the participation it's not like 3000 kids are playing at that big ek country olympic ha, ha. Ha. no Hmm. it is about the re- pyramid from amateur to elite okay and when we talk about that kind of ratio we are struggling to find kids playing but isn't that the same ratio for iits also the number of participants per soon selection paranta but there people have patience manje agde 8th per soon i'm not would name anybody but 8th per soon 6th per soon 7th per soon coaching shuru hota there are those close classes which parents send them from the 8th grade like 7th grade 8th grade that the aim is to become uh, i go to iit yeah and believe me those are the kids i know uh, some of them those are the kids who are playing amazing sport but now the focus is iit hmm. the sport has dropped hmm. sad it is not in 10th grade yeah. where sport is dropped it is from 8th grade only it is dropped hmm. again we sitting here as i said i don't want anybody to judge me at hmm. the same time i don't want to judge anybody everybody yeah. has their different 
perspective to priorities, think or priority everything. whatever biases but, huh, but the thing is it is at the end of the day it is some we spoke about what sports bring right sports brings basic culture correct uh, once an athlete always an athlete yeah mentally always an athlete you're always an athlete you're always thinking about things differently we we are wired to think little differently right imagine if at my level at so probably are not even at amateur little in between that struggling then what must be the thinking process of the people who are professional correct i have i am sometimes in awe of my son the way he thinks he's 17 he's 16 right now mm, mm. he's playing for reliance foundation young mm, champ which mm, is mm. the program by nita ambani yeah. so there every year around 10 to 12000 kids are scouted mm. and out of that only 15 are selected for scholarship wow so he's there from the age of 12 okay uh when he just congratulations went, and yes, it was uh, so. he he proved it on his own merit yeah. there is nothing that we can do it's not yeah. like we can pay and send him there correct so that is something that he has done his life beyond this his life his dedication he understands what he is doing all those thing when he went there a small story when he went there within first one month he was having a lot of problems in settling in hmm. because uh, people kids are coming from all over the country right, right. very humble background different background yeah. different culture everything right he was not settling in so uh we had a ch- talk to the coach and coach said you take him home for 3 days okay and talk to him mm. so we got him home for 3 days we tell we told him see ha sa sa hai you come back this is your room this is your school these are your friends this is your club we have life don't worry yeah. there's no pressure on you to be there yeah he said we'll talk tomorrow okay 12 year old uh, okay. Uh, showing us that attitude ha huh. next day he is saying that everything is fine but after 5 years i don't want to have a regret hmm. that i had the best opportunity in india hmm. where i got it on my own merit and i let it go because i can't adjust that changed my perspective the way i was looking at it suddenly there was no parent in me i can imagine i mean and till then uh, like mothers are little written, more, more more differently <laughs> wired right so that was a time it was a turning point for kk as well yeah At, because a 12 year old that letting them With so go, much clarity and and, letting, and you letting them go somewhere and yeah. you are still we know that we can give everything to that kid in the house the here right but he has his own plans see if he becomes a professional footballer not become his his, his life his de- journey his, his destination journey, yeah. but having that clarity but enjoying the, the process as you rightly said and having that clarity at that age will surely help him when he's 18 25 30 because the thought process is something that you build with and adversities make teach you things yeah. i mean you can't keep protecting the children just because uh, yeah know. it it's a, so he he always pokes at my elder one huh. uh, my daughter who is who used to be a good gymnast then she was a good drummer but hmm. a typical teenage girl now she's doing her uh, bba in mit okay. uh, she also having a liking for sports f1 right. mainly right. uh he pokes at her why are you still staying at home acha go <laughs> आणि आम्ही तर सांगतो अरे राऊंड दे आमच्या जरा सो दॅट इज हाऊ इट इज बट या बट द थॉट प्रोसेस इटसेल्फ चेंजेस ही इज लाइक अ मोर ऑफ अ अ ब्रो टू मी देन माय सन वाओ दॅट दॅट अँड दॅट आय हॅड द सेम थिंग विथ माय डॅड हम्म हम्म इट वाज मोर ऑफ अ ओपन फीलिंग नॉट दॅट वी हॅड सो मच ऑफ ओपन कन्वर्सेशन दॅट द वे वी हॅव इट इन दिस जनरेशन माय लिटल लिटल डिफरेंट कन्वर्सेशंस बट स्टिल द फीलिंग वाज दॅट कनेक्ट वाज देयर कनेक्ट वाज देयर सी आई ऑलवेज से पेरेंट चिल्ड्रन द कनेक्ट इट शुड नेवर बी लॉस्ट दॅट्स व्हॉट रियली कीप्स इट आणि तो मला आई इट ऑलवेज स्टेड विथ मी अँड आल्सो आई सी लॉट ऑफ द पेरेंट्स अराउंड इन माय क्लब और एव्हरीवेअर if you are spending that i know every parent is busy yeah. they are making a living for themselves and their kids and it is tough right it, it is, is tough. not easy it in today's easy. day and age but spending that some time with them on the field taking like today morning my son is right now here so uh, he is there for 10 days okay today morning he wanted to go for training so i said okay let's mm. i i will drop him so but we had been dropping him at 5:30 6 in the morning for every day day after day day after day day after day you can't be having thing that mala soda kanta ala hmm barobar that's your responsibility as a parent if yeah. the kid wants to do something making that thing happen is your responsibility yeah. it's a it's a extra 5 minutes of your life yeah but spending on a good cause absolutely so and that also brings in discipline to your life also right that's a good by product that's a good by product but i'm saying that at least there are so many kids who wants their parents to be on the ground to cheer yeah uh 
always feel that the, the coach is always guiding them. Hmm. We always tell the parent, don't to be a coach. Hmm. Let coach be a coach. Hmm. Let coach do his job. Correct. You don't be a coach. But the kid, a seven, eight year old kid, when he goes on the ground and probably scores a goal, he's not looking at a coach. Hmm. He's looking for finding his parents there. Yeah. So true. So uh, people in with you, right, in your team also, who have been uh, a tennis player. Yeah. After hitting that winning shot, yeah, you are not only looking at the court. Yeah, you are looking for the parents somewhere. That that little bit of that well done kind of thing. Well done kind of a thing. Pat on the back. And so you is, can also build a community of co-parents for that. Exactly. And that Better. US madhe kya What is soccer mom? Yeah. It is like ten kids you are taking in one one big uh, van. Yeah. Uh, and taking for the game. That mom is just and there. And taking to turns. Make, taking turns. You are just there. And this is something very very important. Apne culture madhe this is lacking. Kare. खूप मोठ्या प्रमाणात इट्स लॅक वी बिकॉज वी आर नॉट स्पेंडिंग टाइम इन द स्कूल्स बिकॉज वी कन्सिडर स्कूल एज अ सर्विस सर्विस इंडस्ट्री नॉट एज्युकेशन इन्स्टिट्यूट बिकॉज दॅट फॉर द बिकॉज दॅट्स वॉट द स्कूल या बिकॉज यू सेंड अ प्रोडक्ट अँड दॅन यू गेट अ फिनिश प्रोडक्ट अँड इट इज अन आउटसोर्स काइंड ऑफ अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एक्झॅक्ट सो दॅट इज यू नॉट स्पेंडिंग टाइम देअर अदर दॅन द पीटीएम्स पीटीएम्स ऑल्सो पेरेंट्स आर टेकिंग टर्न्स या डिपेंडिंग ऑन विच सब्जेक्ट दॅर टेकिंग टर्न्स but on the on the on in the sport side you don't have to worry about it you just go there you clap you cheer the more louder your cheer is tumcha body made chemical changes hote it is good for you <laughs> yes the environment stress buster for you also so, and go for a walk who is stopping so you from playing these are the small things which are very very important yeah. uh, in the whole process and that's what the being an athlete means yeah. but once if you by the time of 15 16 17 mm-hmm. we know that uh the kid has a potential to become a elite or no Correct. then you have to start thinking about what are the other options right and that's where the courses like symbiosis what we started in 2016 mba sports management Correct. or bsc in sports exercise science right. these courses are important because you the people who are worked in sports or been an athlete they don't like the conventional side correct so they always want to find what is that i can take me to my passion right and these are the courses where your passion can become your profession Yes. I have managed to do that in my life. After taking a step in 2012, I was in the US. I saw everything. I said I just said uh, what the hell am I doing? I quit everything, hmm. came back. I had no clue what to do. Hmm. I had only thing was there is a the what is a burning desire to do something hmm. in sports hmm. and a good intent. Correct. And I touched wood, I met right people, right time, everything and Yeah it's 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 been a it's been a journey great journey I I've, I've been dancing you have enjoyed every, every moment yeah, that's I, the I, most important I have enjoyed part. every moment uh, no regrets the, I don't like to have regrets and that is one more Stones. thing that sports has taught us yeah this I the past is gone yeah the future is yet to come yes what am i having right now is the present yes i can't be careless for the towards the future but i can be carefree now so beautifully said so that is that is what it is and that's where the these kind of careers make sense there are multiple careers from the coaching to like a athlete mm. has a ecosystem of almost 20 people around one athlete yeah. if you become an elite yeah. around 15 to 20 people that you can have around you yeah. a coach one is technical coach then there is a strength and conditioning coach there is a mental coach there is a nutritionist there is a manager who is taking care of travel and this and uh. that then there is somebody who is doing your marketing somebody is handling your PR. branding somebody is handling pr it's a whole ecosystem, ecosystem around, around, it. around it so there are a lot of jobs digital marketing ye wo so many Wh- things what is ipl yeah it is bigger tyohar than diwali right now seriously okay it's india ka sabse bada tyohar tyohar is ipl that is what it is yeah. and it is the mixture of sports and entertainment yeah nothing else if it was only sports it would have been that successful yeah but the moment you see sharukh khan waving hands hmm. the moment you see shilpa shetty there the moment you see chris gill dancing on the field it's a Chris Gill will not dance that way while playing for West Indies. Correct. But for playing for RCB, he yeah, can do that dance. He can do that. <laughs> and that is what the beauty of uh, yeah. IPL is, right? Yeah. And uh, it's it is the culture that get built over this. Also, one more thing I'll tell you, uh, since I talk about statistics here, one more success factor of IPL hmm. is involvement of women. Okay. Not the players. I'm talking about the WPL, which huh. is women playing. Huh. It's the women entering the stadium. Okay. around 25% of the viewers are women viewers are women yeah that has made a big impact 
because a boy can go alone for a game hmm. or probably take one friend and go hmm. but women will never go alone come in a group they will come in jhund <laughs> or at least husband partner son daughter somebody so ek ke sath char ticket aate acha that is work for ipl that has worked for ipl a lot yeah other sports need to build that yeah so involvement of a lady hmm in sports or any activity any activity helps a lot yeah true and this is like uh, and there's so much scope also because as india if we look at the statistics if uh, sports uh, is going to be taken seriously and there is so many things happening so i think careers will be ample and more uh, just to again one more stats the sports industry is made up of around 50000 people right now which is less than a business unit of infosys correct okay, infosys has got 5 lakh people working for them yes and we the whole industry in india is 50000 people Okay. Imagine the growth. Yeah. The people who entered uh, IT in nineties or banking in early two thousand or telecom that it's a sunrise industry, right? Huh. They entered and they grew with it. Hmm. So this is the time for sports to be a sunrise industry. So if you enter the industry right now, you you might not know कि माला exactly क्या कर रहे थे. Right. But if you have passion and if you really want to have a good night's sleep. Hmm. Right time to be. Right time to be. And it's going to grow. It's it, bound it to grow. grow. See. Uh, There is one. I, I, one of my uh, coaches had told me, everybody is born with a plank. Okay. It's up to you to make it into springboard. <laughs> it was my swimming coach. I used to, I used to love diving. So this was the statement he made. Sagan kare plank hai. Correct. Two that the springboard kuro shakto uska. Super. and th- and that is the opportunity right the, the springboard is the opportunity not only your inner uh, willingness it is the opportunity that opportunity gets created around gets created. and right now is the place for sports to have a career yeah every believe me everybody uh, you sitting here me sitting here the people behind the camera everybody enjoys sports yeah somewhere or other absolutely so absolutely. only thing is somebody can take a plunge to make a career out of it correct and now it is even easier than what i did 10 years back correct or some people be before did before me 15 years back yeah. 20 years back yeah now uh, it is more even more easier because opportunities are opening, opening up opening up now there is one uh, large complaint that i keep hearing uh, from uh, parents uh, all over khelaycha tar ahe pan in an urban setting aajkal infrastructure kuthe aplya kade or where do we have that infrastructure where do we take the children yeah. where is that ecosystem to you know kind of uh, help children play and all of that so now that's one thing which uh, is um, bothering a lot of people i was waiting for this question really <laughs> current every time this is the question that comes up yeah if you want to make it happen you will find a way hmm. or you will find a excuse hmm. there are places around us only thing is we want convenience aplela hmm. 2 km madhe ahe ka we unfortunately we are not us hmm. where the in, we have ample of land hmm. we live in india where we have ample of people <laughs> yeah okay so but the thing is at the same time there are places around i'll take a small example of pcmc pimpri chinchar municipal corporation right i was doing a project with them just before covid uh, when uh, hardikar sir was uh, uh, heading that uh, pcmc hmm. it was that day i came to know being in sports for so many years i came huh. to know pcmc has got the per capita highest number of sports field in india wow nobody knows even pcmc has in india marketed. yeah and even pcmc they were marketed that okay so we were working on the sustainability of uh infrastructure how to make sustainable and all those things because they also not able to maintain that Correct. then how do you get the academy to tie up how do you make that thing happen everything right now uh the I, the way i have a football club i have uh, rising pune fc right we have a academy called four lions which is the mm. co- our collaboration mm. we have seven centers across pune okay around 350 kids are playing yeah we have the turf that we are all turf ground our turf is not only used for football it is used for cricket okay it is used for rugby it is used for birthday parties okay at least people are coming and enjoying yeah there so many corporates are tying up with us to make sure that their employees are playing hr superb and that's what we need i'm saying that facilities are there okay but the thing is if you want to know that kutla level ki facility hai then you have to do some research yeah like if you want to go for badminton then we are looking for say nikhil kanetkar or somebody mm-hmm. else mm-hmm. who is in balewadi so it's a far it's not everybody can reach reach there every time yeah swimming academy kutha hai so if you want a specialist academy then a, then you might have a challenge yeah but 
first six, seven years of your life. Culture, hai na, it's it, just samskar. So I think you have done some great work in your own society also now. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Nandan Prospera in Baner. And uh, around 2013, 2014, I came back from the US and uh, we said, Ki, let's do something. Hmm. So one of our friend came up with the idea, so let's cricket. Chalu karte. <laughs> we had no space, nothing. Huh. That's like, typical. So we just cleaned one area corner and we started playing cricket. Huh. And that grew so much. From then to now, we have proper competitive cricket tournaments happening with teams going for auctions in our own society. In people. your own society. Yeah, 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 yeah. 50, 60 people coming and playing that. Uh, that has grown. Women have started coming in because they said that every Saturday Sunday, what are they doing? What are they doing? So, and but that has built a community so much yeah. that we don't have to worry that I don't have a family member living with me. Okay. For anything, ten people come come running for you. How oh, nice. That is what we have built. So now, from it started with cricket. Now we have basketball, table tennis. We have carom. We have pickleball. We have football, volleyball. We have water polo. Everything you name, every sport, and we are playing in a society. Super. Our Saturday Sundays, our visitor parking is empty. Huh? Okay. Only for cricket. Acha. <laughs> so that's a culture you've built. Culture. So, so all the, the children are also watching you. Now playing. If, even if you are not playing, so every every year November, December, Jan is when we have our leagues, Nandan okay. Prospera leagues. Acha. For uh, around eight different nine, different sport. Okay. From the age group of six. All the way to we have 70, 75 year old participating. Wow. And this can be done by any society now. Just it's about building the culture. Exactly. I it think is. you should rephrase it as the society that uh, plays together, stays together kind of thing. I, I, exactly. I, but it, it has actually... Even the worked. family. For Again, that and the, it's the culture, right? As you, as you rightly said. And Adi Panmita is bollo. Sports is about culture. Yeah. You have to build that culture. Yeah. Sandhya if, Kayat, if, if my parents are not... Took, taken me to Sandhya Kai Satla Ghari Ye Diwa Lao hmm. Pai Dhu Diwa Lao hmm. Shubhan Karoti Man That's what I have been doing for my life Years together Years together I was in the US I was still doing it Yeah I came here Now Even looking at us Kids started following it They do Yeah they have, the role model, they, they have a very they? weird accent of saying Shubham Goroti because huh. of the US. too much of English uh. and the US and uh, mm. everything around but still it is at least the the efforts are made and they understand it's happening for something. When our dog comes and stands, believe me, every evening, 7 o'clock, Shubham Goroti is in the house. We are there. Whoever is in the house, we do that. Our dog is standing first. Oh, nice. He's, so the culture is... He's, he's involved. Yeah. He knows that he gets a treat after that, but he's involved. Kya baat hai? So it's a... It's, it's, a, it's a culture. A, it's a it's part a, of your culture. That is what can be built. It's a culture at the end of the day. That yes. is what it is about sports. Yeah. It's a culture that you have to build. Absolutely. So as a culture which will really build life skills in whichever walk of... Uh, with whatever career children go into, they are based about learning how to handle failures, uncertainties, living in the present, yes. carefree. Yeah. Not careless, but carefree. That's so important. And uh, these skills can really help the children uh, cope up with their coping mechanisms would be much more better. Today we see right. that uh, loneliness is the ne next epidemic or um, mental health, depression. So maybe if you have children into sports and you build that culture around in your house also, um, uh, I think you all of you play uh, something or the other, you know. Mm. So maybe uh, how how does it help your interpersonal relationships also as husband and wife? So uh, for as as I think you very rightly touched upon the uh, the depressions and all. Asa nahi ki people in sports do not get that because uh, uh, Osaka spoke about it. Then uh, uh, then they, we had the, so many other athletes. I just getting the getting blanked out, but so many athletes are coming out and saying. Even Virat Kohli said about mental pressure, or the Sachin Tendulkar said that uh, I was in depression. I didn't know how to do it. That mm. Virat Kohli had a two three years of dry spell. Mm. They were, but the thing is, they had a mechanism to cope up with that. Yeah, and that was something because, as we said, we are on in sports. We have learned from our failures, which have been more than the successes, which have been less. Yes. But yeah. at the same time, what has happened is we cry over our failures more than celebrating our successes more. That yes. happened. Eka joke were dhaavya hasat nahi, ta eka dukha dhaavya ka rato. Kare. The same True. thing. It's the same thing. It is. It is about and but have you, what have you learned from that failure is where the coach comes into picture. Correct. For a young kid, that's where the parents come into picture. You Correct. have to spend that time with them and understand ki what has happened. Hmm. What is your learning out of it? Getting less mark, perfectly fine. 
What did you learn? What did you learn? That's it. And that is again coming back to the thing. And the moment you start asking this question to yourself, what have I learned? I think the mental. I'm not suppressing the part. It is important. It's very a mental challenge and mental pressure is very crucial. Mm. But that can take care of itself. Yes. You you will not find ways to hide behind something. Correct. You can take life head on. You can take the life head on. See again, people have like earlier like seventies, eighties, nineties. People were talking about fitness was only about the gymming and fitness, being fit. Yeah. But now over the time, the fitness has has added added a second angle, which is mental fitness. Yes. What's the use that you are pump, pumped up and very fit, but always angry? Correct. It's not going to help you anyways. You can't manage your emotions well. it's completely waste so mental is part of fitness the third part of fitness is also being what to say social social because more than diabetes and other things i think loneliness is a bigger issue very big issue and it is a it's it's a big disease it is. and but in sport you, you are never lonely you are people. connect right i i can just come here and start talking yeah and and believe me i i i'll go with thumb rule but 90 95% of people like this yeah They, they can, can go and they, they can go and connect yeah. with people. Yeah. Because you are never playing it alone. Yeah. It's a team sport. It's yeah. always you are playing with somebody against somebody or do for something. Yeah. yeah. And you learn to collaborate. Go uh, when a team yeah. sports teaches you so much. Exactly. And one more angle to it, it's called the spiritual fitness. Spiritual fitness means that Deva is not just not about praying to the God. It is about just believing in the process. Correct. It's about uh, having a purpose. Correct. So when I go on the field. Am I going to be better one percent or point one percent better than yesterday? Is the purpose right? The way I come, in, my again, I'm talking about my purpose. Why I'm in sports is I want to reach probably ten million people through what the work I do on sports these days, which is a podcast, is to make this cultural change. I want to reach those people. Yeah. And the best way for me to reach those people is through parents. They are the influencers. They are the people. They are decision makers. They are decision makers. Yeah. In influencers. Like, oh yeah. But they I are the decision makers. Kids. So yeah. in that process, yeah. so I, that's why I said when when I when you when you said that can we chat? I said this is the best place for me to chat. Correct. Once a parent, always a parent. You are the person who are taking the decisions. You have the all the powers. Are you taking the decisions which are good holistically and not only good for you as a comfort factor? Correct. Because kids are growing with. Parents are working. Both parents are working. Kids are growing with nannies or uh, the kids. Yeah, those are still the is still better, but more more than nannies yeah, and all those things. Yeah, with help and nannies, yeah. So how are you building that culture that you are growing grow up with? Hmm. That just that you take them out, take them out, ground them, carry them out. Lot of things help. Hmm. There's very small things, hmm. but that builds. But that builds the culture it, and in that the family. interpersonal skill, the interpersonal relation that you're talking about. That is where it matters. Right? That's yeah. where that's where it builds. It is. because when you are sweating it out you are tired or really happy after doing a good exercise hmm. or physical to me chidna nahi hai you are no you are never going to be cranky absolutely the, all the crankiness has already been out of your system out of your system you thrown it out and come home and as a family unit you can do much more productive so those are the things, those yeah. are the benefits which are we don't we don't know how they happen in day to day life yeah but those things do happen that's, that's, really that's a by product correct It's really fun talking to you, Siddharth. But uh, one last question I want to uh, end this uh, talk with is about esports. Okay. Now that you have ventured into esports, so sports on the ground and sports in the virtual world, these are two different things altogether. And uh, screen time addiction, because we are we are always on one screen or the other mm-hmm. nowadays, and it's it's become a part of our life. You can't so. uh parents are worried about gaming and uh, uh, you know screen time addiction and all of that but uh, how do you look at e sports from that angle as something which is equally uh, you know kind of yeah. so, catching up right now yeah uh, it's uh, again a good question parents are see the parents are to be blamed to give the device to the kids first yeah that's where it started and now you want to take it away yes i have this fight with my daughter still now 19 still having the fight right whatever happens take the phone <laughs> so it's so and my son doesn't get phone all the time because of his hostel right he's right, very lazy right. so he says nice hello phone kar diya acha so that, that, that's a uh, that's a and but the thing is we only started giving the device yeah. to them right yeah. but now okay when so that's about a devices and getting hooked to the whole thing but when you talk about esports what is esports hmm. it is the computer gaming hmm. 
I work with Jet Synthesis. We launched the Global E Cricket Premier League, yeah. which is uh, world's huge. first. Yeah. It was huge, world's first ever cricket, e-sports cricket, uh, e-cricket uh, and entertainment league. Right? It is based on the real cricket, which is the mm. big game. Mm. Uh, all said and done, there's a big community. People are playing. It is the way PUBG has a community, or mm. the BGMI, or the Counter Strike, mm-hmm. and all those mm. gaming. They are gaming, right? Yeah. But the moment you start competing in the game, it becomes e-sports. Right. What has happened is even Olympic has accepted esports as a, a proper stream, yeah. though they are going only with the simulation sports, okay. which is like the real sports simulations, okay. uh, table tennis, badminton, cricket, and all those right. things. So, uh, 2026 is going to uh, Olympic is going to have the esports Olympics. Okay. Then India already uh, India already won a medal uh, in Commonwealth in 2022. Okay. Uh, and because of all those things, what is happening in the esports is coming to forefront, right? Uh, and it's getting the visibility is required. Right. But all starts with the gaming, right? And there are multiple games. Even Candy Crush is a game, right? Okay, so uh, but luckily there is no esports tournament of Candy Crush. Yeah. But uh, it's even th- that's a that's a game. So yeah. p- p- kids are spending time on on playing multiple games and want to grow it. Yeah. I'll tell you, people like MS Dhoni, Virat Kohli, or so many cricketers, uh, they are they are into gaming, right? But for them, it's a downtime, mm. and that also helps them to keep their mind clean mm. or th- uh, the way they want. The f- it also improves the focus, right? Even in US, the the army uses uh, Counter Strike as a game. US okay. army, they train on that because of the shooting skills and all those things. The way it is de- it developed, right. so I had pratyek gaming has benefit. But only thing is, at the end of the day, you have to understand: Are you doing it too much? Right. And because, where to stop? Yeah, and uh, where, can you draw a line? Because see, gaming people, gaming is not about being a couch potato. Hmm. For gaming also, you need to have uh, basic fitness to be developed. You need to have your physical fitness, mental fitness, your eyesight, your hand, cord, everything has to be developed hmm. for that. Hmm. And how do you develop that? Is by doing something outdoor activities as well. Hmm. Hmm. Right. So though parents are not very happy with this. But yes, there is a good career to be made. The, okay. There are gamers, streamers making millions of money, uh, millions of dollars, and uh, uh, from YouTube and Instagram and everything, the streaming as well as winning the competitions. Like GPL had 2.51 crore prize pool. Oh, so which is these are the big, big amounts, right? And right. the kids who are the uh, we had season, the first season which we concluded, we had people from all over India, hmm. and people have never stayed. I I, I remember one of the. Uh, the player who came in and he called me from outside, Sir, I can go inside. Hmm. We were staying in five star. Okay. They were supposed to enter and stay in five star. I said, Sir, I can go inside. He had never seen a five star hotel. Oh. Never... There are almost 20 of them out of 48. 20 of them flew flight for the first time. Wow. So all these things are possible. I'm saying that there is a possibility of yeah. that. The shelf life is issue hmm. for any sport at anything. It, and it could be shelf life could be issue for any career. Correct. Yeah, of course. There is no. But, but the thing is, you have the parents are scared that eyesight is bad. Kai karna or What what do you do ahead? But the thing is, if you do some basic research, hmm. what games? What do you want to do? And why are you using those games? So these discussions with the children are also are important. Are very important. And uh, see, it's, it's a very nascent field right now. The problem is what we have seen. It has been blacklisted because kids have used their parents' credit card for one one two two five five lakh rupees. Yeah. Those have been the issues. Yeah. Because all the games are mobile based. Like Correct. they are already linked to your Apple ID or your Correct. Google ID and all those things. Right. Correct. Those are the issues. Right. But having an open discussion, the kid can take your a twelve year old can take your car and go and bash it somewhere. Yeah. It's about having the open conversation in the house. Correct. And that's what the parenting is all about. Correct. It's about having giving setting that those platform. boundaries and setting those uh... more than boundaries, Sheetal. I feel again you are more experienced than that, but my, I feel it is more about setting the platform hmm. Hmm. to have an open communication. Of course, that it begins with that. Yeah. It's it's that is where I feel it is more important. And then to have drawing that. some uh, com- like you know coming to a conclusion together as to yes. what exactly you want to, and then have a buy-in from children and parents, and some midway you have to kind of. Uh, Correct. Because see, again, uh, there are never sacrifices hmm. or compromises. It's always a choice. It's always a choice. And the consequences stuck to the choice that you've made. Exactly. And uh, you just have to have a safe environment where you can actually feel that, okay, that I have made the choice. I'm living with it. Hmm. Again, hey, Goshta, me, sport was shikto. What sports teaches us is why did I hit a short particular way? The whole country is still cry- still not able to come out the the way Rohit Sharma got out in the finals. 
<laughs> yes. He was playing so superbly, and why did he hit that shot, and how did that head head go for a shot? It is the he took the, he made a choice, the consequences. Yeah. The and again, this is what you live by day mm. to day. That's what it's about the present. Present. Zhala, I have no control over it. Kai Honare, I have no control over it. I can just have a direction towards what can happen, why it happens. Yeah. But right now, what I have is right now. What am I doing about right now? Is is what again believe me that is what sports teaches us and that's why same thing music teaches us that's what dance teaches us because it's about performing, performing at that moment yes superb it was such a pleasure talking to you and you have really given us such important insights which i think are going to be very valuable to all the parents listening to this uh, podcast and uh, not just about sports parents but sport developing sports as a culture to help the child uh be more balanced and well rounded have the essential life skills to face whatever challenges that life throws at him because beyond a point we cannot control their future right so uh, all we can do is equip them for that next lap and uh, that baton has to be passed at some yes. point or the other but we have to ensure that the child is um uh, you know prepared enough to take on their those challenges and yes. that's the only environment we can yeah. give them and uh, enjoy it so uh, while uh, as we end this episode i would like to ask you if there's any specific advice you would like to give to all parents okay i'll not call it advice i'll talk about ex- experiential learning okay <laughs> whatever uh, me and ketki we have done through our life and also seeing so many other sports parents yeah. uh, that around let kid be a kid hmm. let them play they are not if you put them in football they are not going to be a footballer mm. if they put them in cricket they are not going to be cricketers mm. but they put them in sports they will be sportsmen for life well said yes. well said great yes thank you so much it's a really important takeaway and thank you for being with us siddharth i yeah. mean it was a pleasure thanks for being here and um, i'm sure your parents have got a lot of takeaway from this podcast um and we end here and uh, wish you a happy parenting with your children bye bye thank you